Hi, everybody. Welcome in. And first up tonight at 10, a Virginia man confesses to sexually abusing a young boy, but then walks free from court on a plea deal. And now the victim's mother wants to know why the Fairfax County Justice System failed her son. Our Lindsay Watts is live in Vienna with a story you're seeing first on Fox. Angie and Jim, this is devastating on different levels. First, you have the sickening crimes alleged here. Then you have a case that fell apart at trial despite very strong evidence. It all came down to a judge's order on a missed deadline. My son was 11 years old. Amber didn't want to be identified to protect her child, a victim of sex crimes. Last year, Fairfax County Police arrested a man known to the family, Ronnie Real, who was later indicted on charges of sodomy and aggravated sexual battery. Amber says it's been hell on her family. We've gone through counseling. He's started struggling in school. But as the trial approached, they knew the evidence against Real. Not only a confession to police, but a confession Amber got herself through a taped phone call. He was confessing every little detail that he did, and it was making me sick to my stomach. I wanted to just... Oh, it was horrible. I mean, he literally confessed to me why he did it. The case was before the chief judge of Fairfax County Circuit Court. As is typical, the judge ordered the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office to turn over their evidence, a deadline set for April. But when the case went to trial this month, the judge ruled the prosecutor missed the deadline. So the confessions, other evidence, most witnesses couldn't be heard by the jury. My prayers and hopes for it just dropped right there. The case was left hinging on her son's testimony. The Commonwealth's attorney's office says the victim denied one of the charges happened and contradicted his prior testimony. Real, who was facing life in prison, was offered a deal. He pled guilty to misdemeanor assault and battery and was freed on time served. Why do you think that the case fell apart like it did? People weren't doing their job properly. Commonwealth's attorney Steve Descano refused an interview. A spokesman for the office says they had already turned over evidence earlier on in the case. He says the judge's ruling was indeed confounding to us and inconsistent with precedent. Amber says she tried to explain what happened to her son. I was really upset. You know, this is my child. You know, this is my baby. And he got no justice. So he continues to see me cry and everything. And he... he he held his own. He, he stayed strong, you know. He's always trying to be a strong for mom. She says her son practices martial arts, and they had bought him a punching bag. His anguish was obvious when they got home. He wasn't even out of his court clothes. He went downstairs, and he just started kicking and punching. He, he was heartbroken, I think. The Commonwealth's Attorney's Office said they did consult with the family before offering the plea deal. We met with Amber today at her attorney's office. She says her fight for justice is not over. As for real, he's actually on probation in an unrelated case. So this conviction, even for a misdemeanor, could put him behind bars on a probation violation. Back to you.